Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, 45500. This is a sprayer or applicator for designed for liquid nitrogen or for uh, putting out chemicals. This is a uh, 1700C and it supplies the, the products under pressure to run through our control valves. This is a control valve we've been working on for some time. We've come up with a new design. We really like it. What's the most common problem that you have with sprayers is uh, pressure spikes when you don't have a controller to have an automatic control. Where does the pressure spike come from? Well, as you turn off a section, the fluid has to go somewhere. So it increases the pressure, causing for misapplication. So how do you get around that? You get around that with a 433 flow back, metered flow back valves in line with a regulator. You know, we've put on a strainer and then we've got some unique pieces out here that we've added for one for agitation and then the last is the pressure relief to protect the whole system. The pressure relief is required for roller pumps or any positive displacement pumps such as diaphragms or rollers. When you crank it up you always have these set on zero. You turn it on, get uh, slightly above where you uh, want to spray, adjusting your agitation, make sure your pressure's right, and then you start turning them off. And then you balance the flow using each one of these metered flow backs so that when you turn it off, the pressure stays the same and your application rate stays the same. It's a very simple system, doesn't cost a whole lot, and it will save you a lots of money. This is the uh, 744A-3 control. We like the A. It's just a lot more serviceable for our accounts. We leave a pressure gauge on the outside as a rule. You can turn off left, center, right. Of course, left is to the left as you drive the tractor moving forward. Of course, this is backwards as you're looking at it against this. So you have a master on and off. You have your three valves. They light up. You can see they're lit. You can turn them off individually as you go through the field and then your metered flow back will keep them all the pressures the same. One more thing, you can also adjust the pressure using the regulator valve which you find here. Vertical here is all the way open. Even though it's perpendicular to the line, it's open. In this position when it's horizontal, it will be closed. It's just the way the valve's made and in the position it's been put in. So we're going to start out testing it. You turn this clockwise, make sure they're all on zeros. We'll have to hook up the pump now. Start with the, all the valves open and your pressure relief all out and your agitation out. So let's hook it up and give it a test. We've started here. We want to try to get to 40 pounds pressure. We reduce our agitation. So if we turn it off, we can test it and see how much it goes up. So we can... Decrease our pressure relief so it stays at 40 even when it's uh, on or off. So we now have all three valves on. We're hitting about 40 pounds pressure. We turn them off, it spikes a little bit. So what we want to do is have that stay right at 40. So we turn the right one off, which is this is the right on this side. This controlled by this one, so we'll go to uh, Nine. And you can now see that we're up at nine, the pressure's right back to 40. So let's try the center one. Center one moved a little bit. We're going to go to like, we watch it as we turn this out. You can see the pressure go down. So it's just right on 40. Turn the right one off, the left one off, which is on the far side. We're going to open that back up. 
Can we get it back to 40? Turn it on, it stays at 40. Now as we turn them off, individually, they all stay at 40. So you got it set correctly. And these are always infinitely adjustable, but you just want to record where they are. So as you turn them off, again, the pressure always stays the same. You want to verify your agitation, make sure you got good agitation. Always be sure when you turn it off, you don't get a big spike and damage your equipment. Visit our website, newtoncrouch.com, for equipment specifications and technical tips. Give us a call at 800-241-1350. Our sales representatives will be glad to discuss your specific needs. They can help you select the options and the equipment type that will give you the best value for your investment. When you call NCI, you will always speak with a person who will make sure your questions are answered. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.